What's up guys, it's Mirror Girl Cat Corelli, and this is episode 277 of my Cat Vibes series. This time, we're painting yet another um, little study from that uh, Frenchburg trip. Actually, there are four of these little paintings in this series, and perhaps I think it's very likely that I'll return to uh, this trip again, just because there are uh, quite a few nice references to paint from. Uh, it's just that, you know, after four of them in a row, I kind of got a little tired and I wanted to switch to other <laughs> subject matter. Uh, so this time, this is a different section of the road. Uh, I believe this is getting out of Frenchburg how far out of Frenchburg, I don't know, and I don't remember what, what road is this, what is it called, no idea. But it was a sunny, beautiful day in April, um, early April as far as I remember. So I absolutely had to paint it. The thing that I really like in this scene, about this scene, is kind of the, ju the juxtaposition of the curvature of the road and um, the tree line and the light. The way these um, brightly lit uh, section kind of flows across the road. We're kind of getting out of the shadow and there is a section of the road that is brightly lit and then there is another section just a little further which kind of turns further to the right and vanishes somewhere there in the trees. There is, a, there is a turn, obviously, so we don't see the road running too far. And um, I just like it, the way, the way it sets up the scene, this particular juxtaposition. And for that reason, I have emphasized this motion, this tree line that runs there, kind of away from us, right? On both sides, it kind of dips down and then goes up to the right. And I've done the same motion with the sky. Uh, I don't remember if in my reference photos uh, the clouds were exactly like that. I think I've just made up some clouds, put them there to emphasize that, that same kind of curve to make it more balanced. And um, the light just flows over the road. And I thought that this would be an interesting challenge to paint this. Asphalt is a peculiar kind of material to paint because sometimes it appears muddy white in the light. Sometimes it's all frozen out on a frosty cold day. Sometimes it's wet and bluish, almost bluish. Sometimes it's really dark. Sometimes it's rather gray and dusty gray. There is a lot of little little shades and tints and hues going on and the asphalt. And um, I'm just guessing this is quite an old road. There's a barn to the left. It's kind of in the distance. It's kind of lit partially. Um, apparently there's something that casts a shadow on that barn. And... Um, I like how in the spring, all of these greens, they start to show up. And I, th I find spring actually more interesting to paint as compared to summer. I'm not saying there's nothing to summer, but spring is just, spring just has this variety. It has these um, trees and trunks and limbs that are still not green. They're kind of dull brown, violet-ish, and because of the buds, some trees appear to be reddish, and some appear to be orangish or deep brown. And then at the same time, you have this grass that starts to show up, that starts to shoots up, shoot, shoot up, and little flowers somewhere, and entire meadows with flowers, bright yellow flowers, whatever they're called, or violet little flowers. And it just creates this wide range of colors. 
as compared to summer, because in summer everything there's a lot of green, 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 and I think it kind of narrows the um, the range, the color range to a certain extent. So here's this little painting. This is where I'm going to be wrapping this up. If you want any of my paintings, reach out to me at ladycatherinecarelli at gmail.com or drop me a comment right here. An Etsy store is coming soon. I'm looking to opening an Etsy store in about a month, most likely. Still will take some time, but I'm getting there. Thank you very much for being with me. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for watching. If you like my work, share it. And uh, with that being said... You will hear me next time. Ciao.